in uh, round about 1961, this is what happened. 61, 60. I ran away from home. I said, I'm going on the Aldermaston march to ban the bomb. They said this was out of the question. The boy's mad, crazy, in Yiddish, Meshuggah. My mother said, where will you stay? You'd have nothing to eat. You don't know anyone. What would you eat? You're not going. Harold, say something. Huh? Harold, he's too young. He's too young. Look at him. He's packing. You can't go without a spare pair of trousers. How can he carry a bag like that for 20 miles a day? Stop him, Harold. What will you do in the evening? Yeah? You need to eat. You get ill if you don't eat. Take a tin of beans. Yeah? You always eat beans. Harold, stop it. There's the chicken. Take the chicken. <laughs> if you're taking a tin of beans, take two. He's 13, Harold. Yeah? Go next year. Wait till next year. They won't abandon the bomb by then, believe me. <laughs> There'll be another march. Go on that one. You must keep eating fresh fruit. And you like dates. Yeah? He's always liked dates, hasn't he, Harold? Just squeeze them in down the side of the bag. Couldn't he wait till the last day when we'll be there? We can all go to Trafalgar Square together. Harold, have you got the chicken? Huh? Just because it's Easter doesn't mean it's warm. Yeah, it can snow at Easter. Wear the string vest. Who's organised the coaches? Do we know these people, Harold? One orange. Take five. And raisins. He's 13. It's ridiculous. He can't go. Keep the chicken wrapped. Phone us if you need more food. Goodbye.